What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a 100k squad built around Lacazette. Now, it is a three-league hybrid, and if you want to leave any suggestions in the comments, feel free. I do squad builders around two, three times a week, I think, so uh, yeah, if that sounds good, subscribe. Obviously, I do other daily FIFA 17 content, but anyhow, in there, we're going to go with Farman. Uh, the right back, we are going to, if I can actually, you know what, I might as well change the league so we only get those players. Uh, it's the Bundesliga, and I believe, yep, yeah, there we go, it's the Schalke right back, Kier Kora. I've probably said that wrong, but anyhow, the two centre-backs, we're going to go with Naldo, and on the other side, we've got another 84 rated centre-back, Socrates, a very good pairing, I'll go through them more during the highlights. So I'm just literally putting the team in as quickly as I can, I suppose. You could go with a number of uh, players, but I've went with Guerrero there because um, he's got 83 pace and decent defending. His physical is a little low, but because of the strength of Socrates next to him, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Now, this player is not actually from the Bundesliga. He is from the La Liga Santander. It's in Zonzi. Really, really did like this card. Last FIFA, he was very overpowered. Two centre mids, we're going to go with Bruno on this side, and then, you know what, we'll put all the La Liga players in first, actually. Uh, so here, we have a Ben Yedder, who I have changed down from a striker. Now, you can just get him in centre forward, and he'd still get decent chem if you don't want to change him all the way to a cam. But uh, to make this team work, I wanted an OP player, so I've had to put him there. Then we've got Bakambu on that side. And then we move over to Liga on, and uh, obviously the striker, the other one, you already know who it is, it's Lacazette, but uh, we need to put the other centre mid in, if it's going to allow me to do so, and it's going to be Lasana Diara, so that is the team roughly around 100k at the time of building it, Lacazette was 72.5k, it might be slightly more on PlayStation 4, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the team, I'll tell you how it played in the highlights. Overall, I found the squad to be fairly well balanced. Now, because of the price difference, how the rest of the team costs around 25k, Max and Lacazette cost 70 to 75k. I would say he's probably not worth that, and it's probably better picking him up when he's a bit cheaper. He's still an exceptional card, don't get me wrong. So uh, if you do want to try this team, then definitely do that. But he is quite heavily priced and of course he's going to drop over time. So if you're patient, you can pick him up for a lot cheaper. But he is clinical. In seven games, he scored eight goals for me and got four assists. So I would say he's worth the price. I'm just saying within this team, obviously he's three quarters of the team. So he didn't get three quarters of the goals or the assist. So if you want to work it on that balance, then he's probably not worth it in this squad. But he's still a very, very good player. Uh, Bakambu, who was uh, his partner, was very good as well. Seven goals, two assists in the seven games I played with him. Ben Yedder is a cam. Again, exceptional. I, I thought to myself, because he's five foot seven, he might not be that good, but his link up play is fantastic and he's got such a, a good turn of pace. Like his acceleration is fantastic. And he's also got five star weak foot. He, in eight games, has a cam, four goals, and six assists. And, um, the rest of the midfield just kind of sits back and allows the forward three to go forward a bit. Um, the, the right back and the left back, there probably are better options that you could go with. They, they were decent, uh, but they were helped out by Socrates and Naldo because they are very, very strong and tall defenders. So they sat back and allowed the left back and the right back to drift forward. And uh, I think actually the right back got a goal. Yeah, he did actually. He got a goal and he got two assists. And uh, Guerrero got an assist. No goals, but, I mean, it's a left-back. Foreman, though, was absolutely fantastic. A very, very solid keeper. Was making some really, really exceptional saves. I liked Nzonzi again. He's probably not as good as I remember from last FIFA, but he was solid enough to have a little bit of protection in front of Socrates and Naldo. And uh, Diara on the other side, he, he's actually, pretty surprisingly, one of the better passers on this team. Like He was really, really linking up the play for the forwards. And uh, Bruno... Whenever the ball comes to him at the edge of the 
uh, box, if he's got space, he's got a lethal shot. I didn't really see it too much in this, but I've used him in other squads, and honestly, he's got a really, really good long shot. And again, he's a very good passer. So all in all, it's worth the 100k, and I suggest you try it out. But of course, Lacazette will drop heavily in price eventually, so it depends when you want to get him. But still, very solid team. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.